Hello, everybody. Here we are today. We got a CS680 Echo. Kind of had a little date with a pickup truck or tractor or something. Smashed the gas tank, so uh, we got a new gas tank setting uh, right there. We got to take this one off and swap it. So that's what we're fixing to do. I figured I'd come on here and start the video. I'm actually going to stop and take some of this stuff off. And then when I get the stuff off and get to where we're switching the gas tank, you know, I got to pull the side cover off and pull the top cover and the left, the left pull start cover off. And once I get that stuff off, then we'll go to taking the gas tank off. So y'all just hold on. We'll be right back. All right. Now we're down in here a little farther. Try to make this so the video is not 40 mile long these uh plugs here i figure most people that's going to do this have already you've already taken side covers and top covers off it's just you know the normal just popping it off there there's nothing to it you just find the screws and take them off and uh pretty much all of it's that way but uh figure we'll we'll film this part these little black plugs they got caps on them and you take your pick and pull it sideways it's what i normally do and well that little black plug comes out and then there's a bolt down in there so uh there's a few of them here there's a, a mount here 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 and here uh i've never actually taken one of these tanks off so i'm not 100 percent sure what all what all this will entail but we're going to figure it out together that screw right there was bent just a little bit but i think it's still sufficient enough to hold it together it just has a little bend to it that one goes over there with that trying to set trying to set my screws where i can keep up with them I don't know what all it'll take to get this thing apart, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Cause we got to change it one way or the other. That was a Phillips screw. I'm gonna put some pressure on the back side. I've actually had this thing partially apart before because the oiler came loose and it's a right extreme deal to get to the oiler on this machine it is rather complicated there we go Try to put some of that stuff back as you go. See, there's actually an oiler, a manual oiler right here. And the way the line hooks into it, it is just something else to get to. So, it's, it's actually a royal pain to get to. Because the line just sits in a holder back there in the back. Well, there's the reason the kill switch won't work. Hey, that's just a bump stop. There's the reason the kill switch won't work. Aha! That wasn't so bad. Oh, look right there. It busted the gas tank right there and it busted it right here along this seam. See how it's spread? It got it in two places. Okay, well, we don't have a lot of time, so. Well. I guess we got as much time as we really want, but I'm trying not to take so much time as to 
get you a, a more instructive video without so much time spent just to going on about this and that and the other so here's our new gas tank here's our old one and we do have a new grip but we do not have any guts so i might just save that new grip since there's nothing wrong with the old one ain't no point in using it whenever we got one right full of dirt it's just chisel plum full of dirt Let's see if we can that ain't gonna work right, maybe yep my screwdriver bit's getting a little wore out I'm gonna have to get some new ones that's one I got from Lowe's. It's a Phelps on one end and a T25 on the other. Okay. All right. And since I don't know where all this stuff goes 100%, I'm trying to make sure I get it. right the first time there's a rubber piece goes around the handle my biggest thing is I'm trying to make sure that we don't have to do this twice we get it apart put it back together and all the pieces in the right place the first time and functioning and we'll be ready to go Let me get a punch because we got to drive the pin out of the trigger. I could have paused that and walked over and got it, but I didn't. We're going to turn this up on the side. Find us a punch. A little big. Next size down. Little hammer. I doubt y'all can see this. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. I'll see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm driving pin out. Now. Trigger up out of there. Oh, come on now. There we go. We got it. We got it. I'm pretty sure that went right there. So, I know where that goes, and for whatever reason, there's this little black plastic plug that goes right here inside the handle. I have no earthly idea what it actually does other than fill this hole in. So, I'm going to attempt to tap it out of there. Is it threaded in there? Maybe it's threaded in there. We 
tap things lightly, and if they don't move, then we inspect it a little more. It looks like it's got a hex. Yep, it's threaded in there. I guess that's for a trigger lock, maybe? Don't know. We're going to move it over, though. See the other tank. We got to just lightly seat it in there. There is the gas line, and we have a grommet, which I have no earthly idea why. This did not come with that in it. I do not know. We're going to see if we can switch it over. Figure out how it goes because the fuel line was not connected on the inside. So apparently it just slips in there. Echo, come on. You're supposed to be better than this. I'm guessing we're going to have to pull a fuel line off this side of the filter. Because it'll never go back in there the other way. This was already disconnected, so I don't know how. It's supposed to be in there. It was just, it had fell off or got knocked off or whatever. So what I'm going to do is try to move it in here a little bit closer. We're going to put the fuel line through, push the grommet in, and put the fuel line in and shove it down in there and see if that works. I don't know for sure. I'm imagining that this is the way I would do it if I designed it in this fashion. I would have never designed it in this fashion, but if I had designed it in this fashion, this is the way I would do it. Y'all know me. If I, if I designed it, it would be one... It would just be one piece of fuel line and that's it. I'm going to guess that's where it goes like that right there. I'm going to pull that fuel line back up through there a little bit. And get the line down in it. And I'm going to push the whole thing through because it looks like that's where it goes right there. If you don't do it that way, I don't see any other way of getting it in there. <laughs> so we're gonna put the fuel filter back on. I usually put that little wire around the end. That way, whenever you put it in there, it's already in place so you don't have to try to shoot it down. There's that. Put the gas cap back on it. All right. Now, let's see if we can get this pin started. We get the pin started. We'll tap it down in there and get it started. I'll never be able to hold all this mess. <laughs> We're going to put that socket right there. Hey, this will help hold it. Get the pin started. We're 
going to take the throttle trigger. Try to get the hole lined up best you can and then start. There's a little, little space right there that, that spring catches. And once you get it in the right place, trigger lock works. Verification of function. Before reassembly. Otherwise, we might have to do disassembly again. I don't want to do that. Let's tighten up the straight screwdriver. I'm going to back y'all back up a little bit so I can move over my chair. All right. Now. time to show you this oiler this piece just sets in there and the oiler just pushes over against it and somehow or another they got this popped out of place and it was leaking bar oil and wouldn't pump it and I had to tear it down and get that put back into place and it's it's kind of a pickle to get in there it's not impossible but it's not exactly easy either let me try to get the Kill switch hook back up before I. Oh, the switch is loose. The plug in was loose. Tighten it up before I put it back in there. There we go. Now it's getting tight. That thing just kind of sits in there at a weird place. Well, let's see if we can set the two pieces back together. I've got to try to work this gas line up in through there. Somehow or another, the throttle's in the way. There's actually something kind of in the way of the fuel line. I may have to resort to making something to pull that up through there. Probably should have put it all up in there at the beginning of this. But we're going to spray a little free all in the hole. Spray a little free all on the hose. Take my needle new pliers. Try to slip it up in there. That one line is right in the way. So it makes the angle almost impossible to get it up in there. I know. This piece of cardboard on the table used to work so much better than it does anymore. Everything just seems to be in my way. I'm gonna use these real fine needle nose pliers. 
I'm gonna stick one half of the hose up in the the jaws. And I'm gonna turn it and pull on it. <coughs> <coughs> Try to tuck it up in there as it goes. Yeah, this is where the struggle gets real sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it gets to be such pain in the catastrophe. If I can get it tucked up in there, I'll get a little bit of a pull on it. Push at the same time, wiggle it a little bit. It's almost up through there. That vent wants to get right in the way where I can't see nothing. I know y'all can't see it, I can't see it. I'm right there. If I can just get it the last little, last little piece, I can grab it with these needle nose pliers and pull it on through. But I'm just, it's right there. They could have made the hole just a little bit larger where the line would actually fit through it, but they didn't do it. This don't work, we'll probably do that. Come on. It's going every which way but straight. <laughs> Get up in there. And the, the fuel tank keeps coming away from the body of the saw which makes it a real, real chore. Get up in there. Now, got a little bit of tension on it. Hold it up in there. Sorry y'all, I can't, I can't see it either. Let me stop it and I'll get it the rest of the way in there because ain't no point y'all watching all this. Hold on just a second. All right, I got it in there. The trick was to take the hose off and push it down from the top side. It went a lot. It went a lot better that way. <laughs> well, I didn't know. First time I've done that. But I got it. That's the main thing. Y'all just remember, a lot of saw stuff, perseverance is key. <laughs> you just got to keep trying until you get it. Because if you give up, then it wins. Well, I ain't never been one to give up much. That thing goes up over there somehow. Though. Oh, mercy. That went like that right there. And this goes up in here. Like that. And two smaller ones down here. Might be a long boring video here. I think it's getting Bumper one little snugging with the hand screwdriver. Get that tank off the table. Get it out of the way. Let's see, the long one. Went right there. The long one went right there. 
right there. <sighs> a long screw. That ain't right. That screw is missing the bushing. Okay. Well, we'll fix that. I'll stop it here in a minute and I'll fix it. Get that line back up in the holder right there. That line looks like it's kind of where it should be. Right there like that. And this bent screw. This one's bent, but we're gonna put it back in there anyway because we don't have another one. It's not that bad. Okay. Y'all give me a minute. Uh, sorry, I just put it in. I couldn't find a bushing, so I just opted for a shorter screw. All the bushing does is take up the space of the screw, so I just used a longer screw. It, uh, it'll hold it in there. I also used a stainless screw. I'm gonna put these, let's see if I can get this over here. See if I can get this where y'all can see it. Put these bushings back in. I use my pick to put them back in as well when they don't stick out too far. The uh, Echo, smaller Echoes, they tend to go in a little bit better. The whole smaller in it. It's just one of them days, y'all. If I wouldn't have told you how I put them in there, that would have went just in there. But since I'm trying to explain and show you everything's going to be There it is. Maybe that's the bushing. That might have been the bushing right there. We're not gonna worry with it right now though. I get done sticking this back together, I might pop it back out there and swap it. These just ain't cooperating at all. Sometimes I use my little screwdriver, but my little screwdriver seems to be MIA at the moment. So I just kind of, you just got to get down underneath that. There's a little slot in there. And it sits in there like that. I get the fuel line back on. Push it on all the way down here. All right. All right. I'm gonna go put it back together, and then we'll put some gas in, and make sure it runs. All right. We got it put back together. Let's see if it'll crank and run now. It's holding gas so far and doesn't seem to be leaking. I don't see any leaks. Yeah. Let's see if it'll. Make sure it chokes out all the way. grommet in all the way. I got it a little bit out of the top cover. So the choke won't come all the way off. Oh, there we go. 
I had to get gas up to it anyway. Try it again. I'm gonna shoot this video up. Hope y'all enjoy it. Trying to get some stuff done. Y'all have a good day. Be safe. Bell Hopper out. <laughs>